Hello everybody, WWJD here with Pacific Storm Allies Gamers. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to mod Pacific Storm Allies. This is first video is going to be basics of modding Pacific Storm Allies. This is basically just showing you what each file is, how it works, and um, what you need to do to it to be able to mod it. So, let's go ahead and start getting into things. Okay, so let's begin. The first thing I'm going to show you is the layout of the Pacific Storm Allies game files. So go to your shortcut, or if you have one on your desktop, just go to Open File Location, and this will bring you to here. Here you have multiple folders and several files. The most important of these, well all are very important, nothing would work without it, but what I find very important is the bin folder. This holds your exe and all the DLLs attributed to the exe. One thing I would like to mention is Pacific Storm Allies is not a game coded like any other that I have seen, really. And I don't know if there are other games like it or not. <laughs> there probably are. But what I find very interesting is the way this game is set up. It is designed to be modded. Everything in this game can be modded. The EXE and all the DLLs are basically information on how to render the game and what, what basically what the game does when you click a button. That's pretty much what's in the EXE and all these DLLs. Because what you can actually do is even how the game runs can be edited in your scripts. You can go to data and you can come down to scripts. And here are some LUA files. And these are scripts for the game. Now you can edit these as, your, as you please. Um, I'm currently working on increasing the AI logic. But um, these are just LUA file, Lua files, and what you can do is you can just open them in Notepad. Um, I usually will use Notepad with these. However, I also find it helpful when comparing multiple files just to use Notepad++. So that's what these are for, and that's how the game is pretty much set up, is when you launch your EXE, it's basically taking from all the other files in the game. And so if you edit all these other files independently, you can change whatever you please. This game runs off of a slightly older version of Ogre, the Ogre graphics engine. Uh, this engine actually can be upgraded, I believe, if you were to change up the Ogre's DLLs and upgrade those. Um, however, because of license of the rights of Buka, I don't recommend you change any of these without getting Buka's permission because... Um, and who knows what Buka will do. Um, you'll have to read the licenses to uh, figure out exactly what you're allowed to mod in this game. So I would, I usually would just leave these alone because also if you mess with these and you're doing something incorrect, you can actually crash your game. Um, another very important is the data folder. This gives you your a lot of very important information, including your SMA archives. These archives contain files, many many files to be exact, um, that have all the information of how ships are built, their structure, their texture, how all the cannons work, and it even contains inside the meshes some animation data. Another very important file will be the game parameters. This is basically the logic of each entity, such as speed, accuracy of the guns, um, when you do a landing operation, how the training or the level of training that your unit has. That's basically what the parameters is all about. You'll find a lot of good information in there. I'll get back to how to edit all these in a little bit, but I'm just showing you the basics of how the, this is all set up. I showed you scripts. Uh, you have your sound effects here. You have your text for in-game. Um, these are just common message texts. The rest of the text is actually in one of these arc, uh, these one of these SMA archives. Uh, you have the, this unit is for the missions and multiplayer missions. Um, your videos by Buka and CDV and all those wonderful people, and information on the zones. So that's how all this is laid out. Now let's do. A, I want to show you next how I do, how I lay out my modding group. I uh, lay out a very special folder for all this just to keep it all straight. So let me show you this. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you how I lay out my Pacific Storm Allies modding folder. 
Um, so I'm going to go and open it. I actually keep this on an external hard drive just so I can mod anywhere I am, even if I'm not at my personal computer. So this is how I do it. I have many folders, and in these folders I have subfolders. I have complete mods, current and progress mods, fixes, game resources, miscellaneous, mod tools, new fol- I don't know what the new folder is for. I need to check that one out. Patches for the game, scripts, um, a guy I was helping, uh, missions. I, do, I work on, I've made some missions in my past. I need to get back into that, but I have that. And these are just some random files I have in here. So, um, this is how I have layout. When I have a mod that I download or that I have finished working on, I stick it in completes mod in either in the Pacific Storm game or the Pacific Storm Allies game. And in here you have all of my, uh, I have all my files, not very many in comparison to what there are, but um, then I have my current and progress, again, by either Pacific Storm or Pacific Storm Allies. I used to work a little bit with the original Pacific Storm. I don't do that anymore, so I'm pretty much only for the Allies. So I have files that I've been working with, my folders, like um, different work. Um, fixes, same same fixes, just that I have fixes in here. I could probably just stick these in my uh, complete mods, but in my miscellaneous folder, files and folders, um, my mod tools, this one I keep, I have this one, this is very nice. I have all my mod tools and then I have my only allies mod tools and only Pacific Storm mod tools. Um, if you need a mod tool, let me know because I currently have all of the mod tools designed for this game. So I'll probably put a link in the description below where you can download them. Uh, basically that's what these are all for, they're very self-explanatory. Um, one thing I do though is I have a game resources folder and this this one folder contains most of the files here let's see I have a size of almost two gigabytes in just game resources that is two million yeah over two million bytes let's see how many files is there 20,000 files 306 folders in this area alone so in here I keep all the files I work with. I uh, primarily use the allies. And this, this right here, are is the extracted SMA file files. And all these go into my you know my um, game resources. And when they come when I, I just extract them all to here. I did it once a while ago. And when I want to use a file, I will do a search for it. Um, I don't know, one of the ships I did recently was Cleveland, upgrading the, uh... So, I'll see the files for Cleveland. And then what I'll do is I will copy one of these files, and then I will move it over to the current and progress allies into its correct, into a folder dedicated for it so that I can work with it. And that way I also have that, an original copy of that in the game resources. This is how I lay out my work. It, um makes it very simple for me just to be able to okay I need to work with this file so I'm gonna to go to my game resources search for that file and it's gonna be right there for me and then I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna move it to the current in progress mods correct the folder where I wanted in there so I work with it oh I've messed this up I need to get a, a fresh copy I just have to go back to the game resources it's very easy very helpful for me um, you don't have to do this this is just what I do, and I just wanted to show it to you guys, just to give, show you what I do, and give you an option. Uh, find whatever works best for you, because everyone's different, and so lay out whatever you want, however you want, just whatever works best for you. So that's how I do this. Now I'm going to go ahead and start getting into how all the uh, file, many of the main files, and what each of them do, and how they work for the units. Okay guys, so I'm going to be using the Ranger unit, modded unit, built by one of our modders on the Pacific Storm Allies forum. And I'm going to show you what files do what. I'm not going to go into the individual files and show you what their coding is, but I'm just going to tell you, show you the extension and what they are used for in the game. So PNG files are image files used to show you a preview of the image in the strategic level of the game. So when you see a little tiny image, those are the PNG files. 
Uh, let's see. Next, I'm going to go down to mesh files. Mesh files are the structure of the unit, how it is shaped. And when you get a mesh file, you need to apply a material to it, and that will give you a material file. What the material file allows you to do is apply a texture to a material, with, and the material is applied to the model, so in ends, you're basically applying a texture to the model with, using these material files. Next step, let's go ahead and go over the uh, game parameters file. This is basically just excuse me, the, um, the parameters of the unit, you know, how fast it moves, uh, what can go on it, all, what kind of unit it is even. Uh, then you, then we have the OE modifications and OE prototypes. The OE modifications are the default modifications of the armaments on the ship. The default armaments on the ship. These can be changed in the strategic level and customized there. The OE prototypes is when you go into the unit editor in the strategic level, and you see all those little tiny icons allow you to upgrade. And upgrade to what those are all defined in the OE prototypes XML file. The HL file is a hit location file. It defines where each compartment is and just literally that, what each compartment is, where it is, and how it how in the um, game parameters each compartment has its own damage amount. In the HL UI, this is the hit location user interface file. When you see the image where a unit, you know, where you can see each compartment of the unit and how it's being damaged, that is defined here, where that is on that image. Uh, we've been over the PNG, the SMU file, the wonderful SMU file. The SMU file is defines the location of everything to the unit, of all the guns, all the sensors, all the armaments, and even the model. You have to define where the model is in relation to the unit, and that you do all that in the SMU file. Um, we already did those. The uh, text files, ST and TT file. When you see some text about the unit in the strategic level, those are defined here in the ST and TT files. The DDS files or direct draw surface files are the textures that you apply to your model via the material file. And those are the basics of what each kind of file is here. And you'll see that there are several like PNG files, several material files. Um, that's just basically the, um, you know, defining individual specifics. Like at this angle, this is the PNG for it. At the the name of this is that's what you get. It all this does like the uh, the PNG files. They do have to be named like this. You know, with the exception of the name of the ship. But, um, yeah, I'll be able to show you in later videos how you name them and how you actually build a new unit. So, but that's the basics of these, of these files. And I have one final thing to show you, and that is um, converting your XML files and SMU files so that they can be edited. So let me show you that now. Okay, guys, time to show you the final thing in this video. So... We're, let's say we're going to be working with uh, the uh, Mogami Cruiser. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but uh, bear with me. And so we're going to need the SMU file. We're going to need to edit it. So we're going to open up the SMU file, and what the heck is this? I mean, we've got characters no one even knows. I mean, what are we going to? How are we supposed to mod this? Okay. So what you have to do is you'll get this in many of the XML files, SMU files, and pretty much many of the files that you can just edit in a text editor will first show up like this. Don't change anything right now because changing one character and it won't work. What you're going to do is you're going to take the SMU file and you are going to need to convert it so that you can visually see it correctly. So one of the mod tools is the ATTR converter application. What you do is you simply take the file you need to convert, drag it on over to the uh, application, drop it, you can see you get a uh, box open and close, then you can uh, open it up, and voila, I mean, look at this. Now you can edit it. Now it makes some kind of sense. Um, again, I'll show you how to mod each individual file, but I figured that was something very important for you guys to see, that you will need to convert certain files to even be able to edit them. So, thank you for watching this video. I hope you were able to learn something past my uh, stuttering a little bit. 
But um, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Um, if you're not a member of the Pacific Storm Allies Gamers Steam Group, go ahead and join us there. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you here, there, or in the air.